Okay, so we are going to do the hands-on challenge for the bulk apex triggers. Let's launch our hands-on playground. I'm going to scroll up, click my icon there, hands-on org, and go to my developer beginner, pop that up. And then, of course, we are going to launch our developer console from the setup gear over here. Boom. Okay, this is from the previous one. I'm going to close this one and let's flip back to our trail challenge. Scroll down. So, create an apex trigger for opportunity that adds a task to any opportunity set to closed one. Okay, so the apex trigger must be called closed opportunity trigger. So I'm going to copy this without the quotation mark. Copy that. Make a new trigger file, new apex trigger. This is the name, closed opportunity trigger on opportunity. So, oh, opportunity right there, right? And hit submit. So, flip back. We have to create this, you need to add a trigger for opportunity the trigger will add a task to any opportunity inserted or updated with the stage of closed one so inserted or updated i want to do it after insert after update okay inserted or updated so we want to create a task for all the opportunities that is close one okay so first thing I want to um, do a circle and put everything on a list on the box bulkify it so circle on the opportunity and put it on the list I'm scrolling up to give you an example to use that already is described here, um, like this one, soccer trigger bug. Mm, I don't want to use that one because that's related. Uh, let's do this one. So on this example, we are creating a list of account and then it says account with opportunities, right? And then it select all the accounts in trigger new. Okay, so, but we don't want to do that. We actually already have the opportunities, all right? So we probably are just going to loop. Um, no, we are going to create a list of tasks first. Let's create a list of, of tasks, okay? So what I'm going to do, because we are going to put the tasks in a list and do it with one DML. All right, so we're going to do this. Um, list of task, okay, list of task, task list, okay, equals new list of task, oops new list of tasks and then instantiate it so we have a list of tasks this is to create the task later on we put them all in a list and then what and then we insert that list okay so flip back here so we can do this loop for opportunity 
so the object is opportunity the variable is up but this is trigger dot new okay let's copy that make the loop shell this is trigger dot new so you're actually looping over um, the opportunity records that's being triggered all here and we call it up all right so what we're gonna do is we are going to create a new task okay we create a new task and then we insert that task into this task list so let's do that we create a new task a new task um a new task is new task okay we flip back to our trail so to create the new task we have a sample code that we can use here this is adding to the opportunity list and adding an opportunity like that okay so i'm going to copy this code and modify it and modify it okay i'm gonna copy that code it there and I'm just gonna tidy it up a bit with shift tab so this is up list it doesn't exist we have task list okay so task list add new task okay so the name of the task would be follow-up task right if I go back to my challenge this follow-up task follow-up test task I'm gonna copy that so the name of the task would be I'm gonna tidy this up follow up test task okay what else do we have to set to associate the task with this opportunity fill the what ID I'm going to copy that with the opportunity ID so I'm gonna close I'm gonna delete all these two lines. We don't oh yeah, we have to do the stage name, okay? That and what ID is opportunity dot ID. This opportunity dot ID. Okay. So we are adding the task list dot add means add this whole thing, this new task add this whole thing to the task list all right so but we don't want to add oh uh, subject it's not name subject because it says field does not exist name on task it's actually subject task subject right but now we only want to do this if the it says if the opportunity is closed one so this is the stage name the field name is stage name how do i know that they don't tell us but if i file open resource opportunity.obg obg and then we sort by name and i type L, um, c class um, stage name here this is the api name stage name right stage name so i'm going to use that so if i'm going to say if this opportunity dot stage it's popping up there stage name equals close one let me just copy is it closed one yeah close one copy this over so if the opportunity dot stage name equals closed one right then you can do this please do this I'm gonna put this whole thing inside the bracket there and then tidy this up boom so for opportunity make it a variable op from the trigger new right 
if opportunity.stage name equals close one, create a new task, uh, not create, add this new task, yeah, create it and then put it onto here, okay? I have to use two because that's boolean, okay? Not equal. So if op stage name equal equal, that's how do you compare? And then do that. And then what? So this is the for loop, right? The for loop. So you insert, 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 but you want to do the actual DML, right? Outside the for loop. So the task list here, insert task list. So insert the whole box, the whole list of tasks. So put all the tasks here, put all these new tasks into the list, boom, boom, boom. 1,000 times, how many times, 200 times, whatever, put it here. And then once you're, once the box is already done, filled, it's full with, uh, with tasks, just do one transaction, insert task list. But we, we, we want to do this, we want to do this only if there is an, a, ta a task in the list or an apple in the box. Otherwise, we don't pay nothing. There is nothing. So we, we say if task list dot size greater than zero, then actually do this, right? If there is not, nothing in the list or nothing in the box, well, what do you want to pay? What do you want to do? Transaction, there is nothing. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So, so you put that in the list. So if the task list dot size, this has to actually be a method like that. If task list dot size greater than zero, then insert the task list. Okay, so I'm going to save this. This is a star here. We have to make sure the star is gone. That means it's safe. Now the star is gone. Now I'm going to test it. Okay, let's do some testing before we get the 500 points. So to do testing, I'm going back to my trailhead and insert or update any opportunities. So let's click on a sandwich there and click on opportunities on here, opportunities. And we don't have any recently viewed all of it. Let's pick the top $225,000 generator. Whoa. It should create a new follow up task. Okay, so I'm going to just edit something. The stage is closed one. Okay, the stage is closed one, which is good. So I'm going to add blah on the next step and update this. Okay, do we have something? I'm just going to go to my task. Here. Related to, so it's assigned to me, follow up task, task. So it's actually created. Okay. So we are good to go. It's working. So to check that, I actually have to go to my tasks here. Task. And you see it's created related to Burlington, Texas, weaving plant generator. And it says follow up task. It's created. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to get my 500 points. And I will see you on the next video we, where we will be talking about Apex tests, which is another fun stuff. And I'll see you on the next video. Bada bing, bada boom. Woohoo! New badge! I'll see you in the next video. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.